good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It's a little after eight o'clock. I am going to the front of Pop Century. I called myself an Uber because I'm going to the office today. Exposed. You want to know what? I didn't either. We're gonna eat. <laughs> we are starting our day with some breakfast. We already have our suits on. We're gonna get in that pool very soon. Don't worry, we have Captain America with us with his shield. We got lots of options for breakfast today. Mickey waffles, bacon, croissant, muffin. What do you want? Alrighty, I'm going to be honest, we really haven't done much at all today. We had a rough go going to bed last night, so Jamesy was up late, but he slept in well. Um, and we were going to go to the pool, we were all in our pool gear, we still are. Um, but James is also like getting his bottom canines, which is probably sleep related too. And he like kind of lay down on the bed and I just took that time to like get ourselves reorganized, give ourselves grace and just kind of like chill. Um, so we just ate some pizza. It's about like real nap time now. So hopefully he'll sleep. Um, but yeah, today was a rest day anywho. We had Boma for dinner tonight. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna scroll around. Teddy's been an angel and just going with the flow. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at today. It literally took less than three minutes for him to fall asleep. And Teddy is also asleep. So I'm gonna finish editing and then meet up with the Sakaar clan. trying to make it here to meet up with the Sakar family. They came here for lunch. And so I got us all ready after I finished up the vlog. Took the Skyliner over to, to meet up with them. Um, and it started pouring rain. That was like, just like such a textbook Florida downpour out of nowhere. I just looked down to see Teddy covered in rain. Thankfully, Jamesy was mostly covered. His legs got wet and he stirred, but he's still napping. It's almost been two hours. The funny thing is, I saw my phone say, rain stopping in 10 minutes, and it wasn't raining. And I actually had that thought. I was like, that's funny. It's not even raining. A minute later. Oh, it was raining. Look at it. Well, I'm happy we weren't in the Skyliner when that happened, because that would have been freaky. All right, work day is done, pretty good. You know, me not working in the office usually meant it was like 80% just catching up with people. A couple of people from my team showed up, saw my old team, so they called an Uber. We're gonna go over to Animal Kingdom Lodge, have dinner there, kind of hang out. We'll see where the night goes. Look at this lobby. Woohoo! 
the rain stopped. We made it to our friends. James is still wearing his bathing suit. What? It looks like it's cleared up. Got my two boys. Daddy's on his way. He's gonna meet us at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I didn't really mean hang on tight to your brother. Hang on tight to your stroke. Ready? Oh gosh. Whoa. I'm with my friends again. Yay. Whoa. Do you love that chair? a nice chair, right? I don't know if we've said it, but that's what we're eating tonight. We made it to Balma like an hour before our reservation. Yeah, they let us come in that early. We got James in a high chair. Look at this funky looking table. You guys wanna get food? The girl's got mocktails. It is. did a really quick trip to just get James eaten some chicken nuggets and mac and cheese, steak, ribs, potatoes, and salmon. Let's see if he takes it. He's a big fan of the zebra dome. He's also a big fan of Louie and it helps wrap up our dinner. Zebra dome for the win! Hey, this is the sign of a good dinner. Was it good, Jamesy? Oh, yeah. Was it good, Teddy? He's been in the buffet Did you all miss night. me, Weasel? <laughs> Did you miss me? Oh, gosh. Dinner was so good. I actually didn't eat as much as I usually do at Puma, but I'm still... Very full, so, so yummy. And I feel like that menu is always changing and like you just get lucky with what you got. That oxtail stew is so yummy. Um, but anywho, the reason that we had our, um, our Boma reservation tonight is because we actually have friends staying here and they invited us to swim. So we're gonna swim and then just make sure that the transportation works out that we're back at our <laughs> resort um, at a good time. Good afternoon from the Pop Century Arcade. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We have decided this is going to be a two-parter. With our rest days that are in the row, we're just hanging out at the resort today. Um, not sure if we'll go to Disney Springs or maybe another resort later, um, but another pool day, another rest day. So we're just here, we had a late start to our morning. I mean, it's already the afternoon. Sorry for the abrupt cut, Jamesy. Had to change cars. Yes, another another day of just soaking up the resort life. All right, here we go. I'm on my little lunch break. A little bit of an early lunch break, but I'm walking over to the Skyliner. I'm gonna take the Skyliner over to Beach Club, hang out maybe in the Solarium or the Beach Villas. Beach Club Villas um, lobby, because I know there's some like, quiet working spaces. Got some meetings in the afternoon. It wasn't just, it wasn't prudent to take that in our resort room here. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner. There you go. And here we are at Crescent Lake. Well, International Gateway, but I'm gonna dip on over there to Beach Club. 
go to the solarium and see if it's quiet in there. Log back on for the rest of my work day. Beautiful, beautiful day. This is where I'm gonna work. I'm just off Beach Club main lobby. Boom, perfect. Outlet, chair, table, great. We're really trying to take all these children to the pool, to splash pad. See? It's nice. The boys and I are gonna take a little AC and sun break. It is very sunny, but the splash pad is perfect for these guys. We got some Cheetos, a sandwich, some hard boiled eggs. I think I am. And a little yogurt for Jamesy. And we also got some fruit. So I thought we were gonna have a little lunch date, <laughs> Jamesy and I, but he just, he fell asleep mid bite. So, I mean, we were only by that little pool for like 25, 30 minutes, maybe. Um, but I guess it is around time for nap time, but it pooped him out, the sun just gets him. Um, so I'm gonna go back up to the room. Teddy's also asleep and eat my sandwich up there. Christina and her kids are in the room too. So maybe I'll share, maybe we'll, we'll figure out what's next. <laughs> Look who's awake. He's got a sucker. And our plans have been foiled. We have been blissfully unaware of the weather going on outside. I guess the Skyliner's been down for an hour. They said there's not really an opening in sight. I was gonna take it to the boardwalk to just meet up with Peter now that his day is done. But we gotta re refigure out what we're gonna do. What? What? <laughs> Yeah, it's just after five. Uh, I have to call Sarah back. We're trying to figure out what we're doing for the evening. It's the cards were resting and James woke up from his nap. Since Sarah was gonna Skyliner here and we were gonna like maybe sneak in Epcot for a little bit, either for the night or before meeting up the Sakaars at Springs. Um, but then apparently it's been stormy in the area. So the Skyliner has been down for like an hour. So now me and Sarah are trying to figure out the best scenario because it's not super easy for her to manage the two babies and our bugaboo stroller by herself to hop on a bus to go to Springs or here and then a minivan right now is like surged up to like 40 bucks which isn't the greatest so I know at least for me to get to them with the quickest option because Skyliner's down would be for me to walk through Epcot to go to a pop century bus in the front or take a bus from Beach Club where I was working to Springs hop on a different bus back to Pop Century, so I figured I've got quicker and I get to walk through the World Showcase night. So I'm in World Showcase now. Who do you see? <laughs> so we walked over to Art of Animation. I mean, James here are looking at all the cars. Where to next? Can't take your eyes off them. Flower and Garden ends two days ago, and now we already have our July 14th to November 19th food and wine signage up. Earth Eats, um, still some Flower and Garden pieces around the place, but definitely getting ready for food and wine already. Look at him. Got Fillmore's. I just sent a picture of Jamesy with him to Megan and Katie, because this is who their puppy's named after. You love it? Wow! And who else is here? What? You got stickers. You hear that music? It's the most beautiful music any Disney park has in an area. Look at this over here. The magic of possibility. If Peter Brookhart today would have told Peter Brookhart 10 years ago during the Disney College program that in 10 years he'd be getting off work from his remote corporate job to walk through Epcot for a more convenient mode of transportation, he would unequivocally not believe you with every fiber of his being. But I was also a different Peter back then, a little bit. Um, 
And now, the magic of possibility is pretty endless to this Peter Brookhart. You hear that? I love this music. Uh, I'll go by the speaker for you. Who is it? What? Rafiki? Dad is taking a bus to us. So we're gonna stroll. Can you believe it? You say Simba? Aguna Matata. That is so cool. These guys might be his favorite, so look up. Wow, an elephant graveyard. <laughs> so we're in the lobby now. And it looks like the lifeguards are getting back to their post, which hopefully means the Skyliner's back, which in turn means the weather will hopefully be nice the rest of the night. Um, but it's just funny that we we changed our whole plans around around the Skyliner not being open. Sorry for that kind of crazy transition there. I got to Art of Animation and like found Sarah, and as I found Sarah, there was a bus for Springs. They waited for us, and it was a coach bus, so it was actually easier with all of the strollerness. So we're at Springs now, and we're gonna try to do a nice low and slow. Look at yeah. those companions back no, there. No, it's just, we're like at our city pace. Slow and slow That's pace. Like Look at these little paintings behind Sarah's big head. First stop, Sugar Boo. If it's a fountain, James will love it. Like reacts and then we pull out the camera and then he's just like staring at it but like truly every mountain. Yeah. Oh. And now our favorite place. We still have our, our stuff. They do still have our stuff. Teddy has just been snoozing. A whole book of dips. And they are handing out coupons today for one time 20% off. We made it out with some sugar bonus. Sarah needed a replacement straw because James devoured that one. We also got that dip book and a fan. Because our fan might have clunked out. Uh oh. I think he spotted the balloons. We're gonna get a little sneaky snack here first. Hmm. I bet you there's something plant-based there. Bet you there's not plant-based here, but our baby does love mac and cheese. It's a cool menu. Funny enough, Jamesy does not like cheeseburgers, plant-based or not. He just, he doesn't like them for a kid who likes everything. Here is the mac and cheese menu. We got the fritters. Fancy. Mac and cheese fritters. Here's a look on the inside. Pretty delish. They're so good. The cheese is just top notch. Why not continue the cheese fest at Disney Springs with some pizza ponte? Ready? And Brian Malpass was down there playing. He'll be there all night. Yeah, here's the spicy pizza San Granado. The four cheese. A little can of wine. Kim Crawford, Sauvignon Blanc. So we got classic lemon San Pellegrino. And we also got a tomato mozzarella salad. Fresh mozzarella. Dinner was delicious and Jamesy found the ultimate fountain. It's right behind STK. <laughs> He's so excited his friends are here. What are we gonna do tonight? You wanna see Teddy? My favorite game. What favorite game? Um, I don't know what, um, I don't know if you know it. Oh, from the arcade. Oh, go back to the arcade, I'll show you. 
Okay, thanks. Nothing like a Florida sky, and I'm not even the one who said it. Sarah was the one who brought it up, and she would always give me flack for it. Beautiful. I would yes. not give you flack for it. I embrace it. I use hashtag Florida Sun. <laughs> Look at this baby. He's so cute. Look at this baby. He's so cute. And we got live music tonight. It was raining, so they were like delayed, but now they're out, and they're ready to show the green. He's doing the jig of his people. <laughs> the Sicard's got some gelato. What flavor? Mine was pistachio, chocolate hazelnut. Oh dear. Cookies and cream. And what's this one? Sorbet? Strawberry. Yum. Grant, what did you get? Mint chocolate chip and chocolate. Yum. What do I hear that? I hear Brian Malpass in the distance. Because the cards are going to Sugar Boo. It's our Brian Malpass song. What do you think you're doing? Just walking all over Disney Springs by yourself, huh? Alright, we're at Pop Central, okay? Buses end at 1230. Oh, gosh. And it's pretty special having this little baby here. Peter's going in some last minute chops. I'm just soaking this in. Jamesy's toast, Teddy's toast, Mommy's toast, Daddy's toast. Yeah. Best yes, this card's left a little bit ago to get a head start back to the resort. We're walking into the bus stop now, ready for AC and relaxation. So Brian Mapp has twice. Yeah. And I shouted out one of his original songs and he was like, hey, that's cool. That person knows one of my original songs, but he didn't play it, which is fine. Right. Which is still cool. Yeah. Um, tomorrow we go back to the parks. Mm -hmm. Do you want to sing off? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.